Legends tell of the before time, of the long, long ago, an age known to myth as modernity. Earth was a garden of delights, where the gods and goddesses walked the lands alongside man. They were towering figures whose acts inspired all who looked upon their greatness. By their teachings, humanity was gifted untold wonders, taught the secrets of how to soar above the skies, how to raise unearthly riches from the soil, and how men of all nations might live lives of amity and goodwill. The final gift of the gods was also their most wondrous. In a single day, America, goddess of liberty, Haina, god of industry, Rusvia, goddess of winter, and countless others unleashed the light of Valhalsium, the greatest realm in the high heavens, across every corner of the earth. For the briefest of moments, the gates of paradise were open to all with the courage to enter. Yet there were some who refused to go, the prideful, the ignorant, the cowardly, the heretics. In their dying moments on the mortal realm, the old gods cursed those who chose to remain behind. The world was transformed into an atomic wasteland and the gates of Valhalsium were closed and barred. Amidst the burning cities of their forefathers, the surviving tribes of man warred against one another. Sacred kings and tyrants of science amassed hosts of followers, each constructing great works and launching vast campaigns in the hope of winning the attention of the old gods and the right to enter the afterlife. None succeeded. For a thousand years, not a single soul entered Valhalsium, but there was one who returned. His chariot blazed across the skies, shining with such holy light that it is said a sliver of the afterlife was visible in its wake. Graced by divine purpose and strange technology, this single warrior slew the hated despot Chugoth, united the road warrior tribes of Artralaya, and through feats of strength and cunning, united all the kingdoms of the earth. In victory, Romulus Chuck, the man who fell, was crowned the first high solar of the Holy Solar Empire. Through his guidance, mankind began to reclaim even the harshest wastelands and the first solar legions sprang forth to seize the ancient cities of the world. Knowledge, long thought lost, ignited the dormant fires of industry, while Romulus Chuck himself bequeathed new scriptures and new salvations. In his final act, the High Solar echoed the fate of the old gods, returning from whence he had arrived becoming the first in a millennium to enter the halls of Valhalsium. Through his death has come a new truth. It is now known that the way to paradise cannot be found on Earth, but instead lies in the heart of every star. The time to leave the hell man created has finally arrived. The solar legions, once divided, now stand ready, awaiting the coronation of the next high solar. By their command, Fleets and armies will set out for the holy lights of distant stars, priming them for the arrival of the worthy, and bathing any who resist in the cleansing power of atomic flame. The Holy Solar Empire is the third of five possible nations that could become the focus of Stellaris Invicta Season 2. If you'd like to vote for the Empire and bestow your soul to the service of atomic gods, a pledge of just $2 a month will get you access to the polls when they open this Friday. And to learn a little bit more about how this nation could work in-game, be sure to check out our Twitter and Facebook pages where we've just posted some additional information.